and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to Sudoku Tudes. This is the second set of Sudoku Tudes, of course, and this puzzle is called Fire Escape. And this is an outside Sudoku, at least that is what I was um, introduced to them as. And this is actually Maggie's favourite constraint, and I quite like it too. You don't see outside Sudoku very often, um, and we've played with this constraint a bit, to the point where... You'll see something interesting tomorrow. But before I did that, I wanted to just do a regular outside puzzle. And this is the first puzzle in Sudoku Tudes where there are no given digits in the grid. But um, this is how outside works. I wanted to do this. So, um, of course, there'll be a link below to this puzzle. And if you're not familiar with outside, I'm going to go through the rules right now. So we have normal Sudoku rules apply. So we have to place the digits one to nine into every box, in every row, and into every column without any repeats. And then we've got the outside constraint. So the digits outside the grid must appear in one of the first three cells of that row or column as seen from that direction. So eight and nine must appear in those three cells. 3 and 4 must appear here. 7 must appear in one of those three cells. 6 must appear in one of those three cells. 5 must appear in one of those. And 2 and 3 must be in those three cells. There must be 2 or th 2 must appear in one of those. And 3 must appear in one of those. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know one and two must appear in one of those three cells, but we also know that two must appear in one of those three cells. So this overlapping cell means that this must be a two and one must be in one of those two. Three and four must be in here, but four must also be in one of those. So this has to be a four, which means three is in one of those two and five is in one of those two. Now there's actually more I can do here. One must be in one of those three cells. That's looking up saying this isn't the one. So this cell here has to be the one, which makes this the five. Um, now we can say five and six are in here. I've got the five. Six is in one of those two, but this six is saying six is in one of those three. So that has to be the six. That puts seven in one of those two, but this seven clue over here is saying seven has to be over here in one of these three. So that's a pointing seven. That means that this can't be the seven. This has to be the seven, which means this has to be the three, and this becomes an eight, nine. And that's resolvable because eight has to be in one of those three. And if I put eight here, I couldn't fulfill this clue. So this is the nine, this is the eight, and the first box you can pretty much write in. Now, eight, nine means that eight has to be in one of those two because I can't put it here and nine has to be in one of those two. One, two means that one has to be in one of those. And this is just a one, two pair because one and two are pointing over here. So this is a one, two pair. This is a three, four pair because three and four are so it can't be in those cells, but I have to put three and four into here. So this is just three, four. Three, however, has to be in one of those. So that's a four and that's a three. Can I go any further with those? Not yet. Five, six are in one of those, but I can't put five, six in that cell. So this is five, six. Seven, eight. Well, seven could be in either of those two, except seven has to be in one of these and one of these. So that's the overlapping seven. Eight is in now in one of those two. Now, seven in this box has to be in one of, can't be in any of those. This is a one or a two. This is a four. This becomes the seven, which took the pencil mark position of an eight. So this has to be the eight. This has to be the nine. This eight looks back saying that can't be the eight. So this is the eight. Okay, we've got the seven and the eight in now. One is in one of those two. Nine is in one of those two. And this nine is looking across saying that can't be the nine. So this is the nine, which took the pencil mark position of a one. And these are two, three, four, because I've got five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one already. This can't be a two. Well, the three has to be in that run. So that's the three, which makes that the four and that the two. These are five and six. And I'm not sure how to resolve those yet. Yes, I am. The five down here means five is in one of those three. So if this is a five, I couldn't fulfill that clue. So this is the six. This is the five, which makes that the five and that the six. We're making progress. So where do I want to look now? Well, I'll use that one to make that the two and that the one. And we've completely, com completely done 
the first um, band. Now I'm going to try and work on the first stack. And the reason for that is these are the clues that are giving double information. So there's two digits being provided here. So for example, we know seven and eight have to be in here, but seven and eight can't be in that cell. So this is a seven, eight pair. One and nine need to go in here. One can't be here. And because of one pointing up here, one can't be here. This is the one which puts nine in one of those two, but nine has to be in one of those three. So that can't be the nine, this becomes the nine. Two and three need to be in here, but two, three can't be there. So this becomes two, three. This becomes a triple, which is four, five, six. Four and five look down, making that the six. So there's no six in any of those. And five, which has to be over here, makes that the four and that the five. Can I take that any further? Not that I can see. Three and four have to be in those. The three looks down saying three is in one of those two. And the four looks down, oh, the two fours looking down saying that has to be the four. Okay. Five and six, well, six and six means this is the only place for the six. Five is in one of those two, but this five is looking down saying that's not the five, so that's the five. Seven and eight, well, seven and eight is knocked out of those, so this is the seven, eight, but I know the eight has to be in one of those three, so that's the eight, that's the seven. I now know nine is in one of those two, but this nine over here is saying nine has to be in one of those three, so that can't be the nine, that's the nine, leaving only one place for the three out of that. These are now one and two, but the one has to be in one of those three, so that's the one. One, that's the two. The two looks up making that the three and that the two. And the seven looks up making that the eight and that the seven. And now we've completed the first stack. These other ones are going to be a little bit more tricky because all of these top clues are done and there's only single digits over here. But we'll see what we can do. We know five has to be in one of these, so it's in one of those. We know two is in one of these, so it's in one of those two. And we know six is in one of these, so it's in one of those two. That's not helping yet. Okay. Yes, it is, because six has to be in one of those three, so that can't be the six. That's the six. Six now is in one of those, but it can't be there or there. That's the six. Nine is in one of those, so nine has to be in one of those two. Two has to be in one of those two. Now, we've got a similar restrict. Let's look at seven. Seven has to be in one of those two. Uh, we've already got the six. Four has to be in one of those two. I'm only pencil marking two places if I can. Five is in one of those two. Three has to be in one of those two. And two is in one of those two. But the two pointing across here says that's not the two, that's the two. And this has provided some information, but maybe not enough. So two and two are looking into that box saying two's not there. Two can't be here because of that two. And the pointing two says two's not there. That is a two. Okay, that's something. What is the next most constrained digit? Well, three can't go there or there. So three is in one of those two because of this three looking across. Five is not in any of those because this five is effectively pointing up and that five is looking up and that can't be a five because of the five there. This becomes a three five pair. That could be very useful, particularly because the five is pointing across here as well, making that the three and that the five. And the whole point was with this puzzle was to teach you outside by starting easy in this box, a little bit more tricky here, a little bit more tricky here, and then ending with some little bit more tricks again. So ramping up in difficulty as you work through the puzzle. This is a triple now, which is one, four, six. Well, there's no six here because of the six here. There's no six here. So this is the six. And I'm not sure how to resolve the one, four yet. I'll get there. Okay. So what is next? Well, six and six means there's no six in any of those. That has to be a six. And now this is a triple. One, five, nine. The one and the nine look down, making that the five. There's no five in either of those. And not sure how to resolve the one nine. This is a quadruple. Two, three, four, no, two, three, seven, eight. So this is only two or three, because it can't be seven or eight. Hmm, supposed to ramp up. So I'm not unhappy. Just got to see what I'm doing. 
just need to see what I'm doing. Probably just missing Sudoku is what I'm doing. Four is in one of these two by Sudoku because four is in here and down here. So what are these? Two, which is in one of those two. Three, which is in here. Three is in one of those two, in fact, because it can't be in any of these because of that three. Can't be here, and those are all full. So it's in one of those two. Four, five, six. So this is only seven or eight because it can't be nine. This quadruple, which is one, five, seven, and eight, there's no one, five there. So this is seven or eight. There's no one, five there. This is seven or eight. So there's this quadruple here is one, five, seven, eight, and there's one, five, and one, five looking at those. So this becomes one, five, and the five is looking down, making that one and that five. The one looks up, making that nine and that one. There we go. This is not the five anymore. Okay. One, one means one is in one of those two. Did that help? Did that help? Um, if Sudoku persists, see your doctor. One, seven, eight, nine go into all of those. So this is also seven or eight. That sees one, seven, or an eight. So this is a naked single. It sees one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That there is a nine. So these are one, seven, and eight. There's a digit that has to be in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is a nine in one of those two, and it's not there. That is a nine. Okay. This nine is looking down saying, that's not a nine, that's a nine. And that's all of the nines in the grid. So this row may be two, three, four, five. And this can't be two or five. So this is three or four. This is three, four, five. And it can't be four because four has to be over here. So this is three or five. And this is only two or four, because it can't be three or five. I'm not sure how that's helping. I've missed my basic Sudoku trick. This is one, four, seven, eight, and it can't be one, four, seven, eight. So one is in one of those two. I really have missed my basic Sudoku trick, haven't I? This is only two, three, or eight. Three, four, seven, eight. Wow. I did want this to ramp up, but I'm feeling a little discombobulated. I know this solves. <laughs> I haven't solved it in like a month and a half, but I do know this solves. These are two, four, seven, eight. This can't be a four. That can't be a two. What have I missed? This is four, seven, eight for the row. And it's not eight. This is only four or seven. What have I missed? This is two, three, seven, eight. No, it's not that. I thought it was. I thought I saw something there. Wow, I should have practiced this puzzle. Because I don't mind practicing these. I thought this one was easier. I think 
think I've missed something. I don't remember this having this level of ramp up. There's no seven there. This is two, three, or eight. So seven, right. There's no seven here. There's no seven here. Seven is in one of those two, taking seven out of there. This is only four or eight. Uh, I'm a little lost. Oh, where's five in this box? It's been right there. Five can't be in those or in those. That's a five. So this, and there's a seven looking down. That's the four. So this is the three. There's no three there. Holy cow. The four looks across making this one and this four. The four makes this three, which makes this two, this four, this eight, which makes that seven and that two, which makes this eight. It was just basic Sudoku I'd missed. The eight looks down, making that seven, looking across, making that eight. There is no eight here. These are one and seven. This isn't the seven. This is the three that's missing. So these are one and seven. The one is looking down, making that seven and that one. I knew it was something I must have been missing. This is the four. There's no one here. This is a seven, eight, and the seven makes that the eight and that the seven. I knew there was some basic Sudoku I must have been missing, and I just wasn't look scanning down correctly. Sorry about that, everyone. But, you know, I'm perfectly happy to have missed that because other people might as well. Um, but what I wanted to do is introduce people to the concept of how outside worked, because it is a constraint that I really, really love and I think is underused. Um, and I'm playing around with the outside constraint tomorrow and you'll see how that works. Um, and we'll have a discussion about rules tomorrow as well, because I probably need some help with the rules wording. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the puzzle and as always, good luck with your solving.